Instagram or TikTok? Right now, you're probably asking yourself which platform is the right choice for your business. It's a great question, and the answer might not be as straightforward as you think. To help you make a better informed decision, we're breaking down each platform's strengths and weaknesses into these four categories. One, demographics and user base. Two, content formats. Three, algorithm and discoverability. And four, analytics and insights. We've got a lot to cover, so let's dive in. First things first, let's talk demographics. As of January, 2023, Almost 31% of global Instagram audiences were between the ages of 18 and 24 years old, and 30% of users were aged between 25 and 34 years old. That's a fairly broad mix of age groups, and depending on your business, it's very likely that your audience can be found in there. On the other hand, TikTok is still considered the new kid on the block, which means its user base has naturally swayed towards Gen Z and millennials, with a little more than half of TikTok's user base worldwide being between the ages of 18 and 24. TikTok is where most trends live and breathe, so if you're looking to get your content closer to Gen Z, you might want to consider getting on TikTok. Of course, these numbers are not the only indicator as to which platform your audience is most active, but should help you determine where your time will be best spent. Now, let's discuss content formats. Of the two platforms, there's no doubt that Instagram offers the most options for content variety. From reels, carousel posts, static images, stories, live streaming, to Instagram channels and DMs, just about any type of content can live seamlessly on your Instagram profile. Driving traffic where you need it is also possible through your Instagram bio and directly on your Instagram stories. Because of these reasons, the opportunities for driving sales while building community and audience engagement are greater. Instagram's platform is also designed to draw you in through visuals, and as a business, it's important that your feed has a high level of cohesiveness to it, so that your potential followers can get a feel for your brand quickly. Now, this doesn't mean you need to curate the perfect aesthetic feed, but we definitely recommend investing some time planning out an, an overall look for your grid, be it through your brand's colors, fonts, or filters. TikTok, on the other hand, is all about hooking your audience through short attention-grabbing videos, and they don't need to be perfect. In fact, most users prefer authentic and genuine content over super polished visuals. While TikTok has extended its features to include more static photos and carousel style posts, most users are still warming up to them, and engagement is not as high as video style content. In general, there's more of a focus on creativity and entertainment value. This is why you've likely seen more brands leaning into trends, because it's a great way to get on the algorithm's good side and land on new pages. Speaking of algorithms, discoverability plays a crucial role in reaching your audience. In the last few years, Instagram has shifted their chronological style of feed to a more personalized one. This means that Instagram now prioritizes content for users based on engagement, relationships, and user preferences. The more a user likes, comments, or shares certain video types, for example, beauty content, the more the algorithm will continue showing them beauty content. Instagram's algorithm is also very SEO-based, meaning it requires users to specify their content through hashtags and keywords, as well as strong profile optimizations in bio in order for the algorithm to show your content to the right people. If you wanna get discovered, you need to tell Instagram who you are. TikTok's algorithm, on the other hand, is a little more advanced and has the ability to read into user behaviors like watch time, interactions, and saves to better curate the For You page. This makes organic reach and virality a little easier to reach than Instagram. If brand awareness is your goal, TikTok is the way to go. But if you're looking for a more sales-driven strategy, we would consider starting off with Instagram. In both cases, keywords and hashtags are still necessary to point your content in the right direction, especially considering nearly 40% of Gen Z prefer using TikTok and Instagram for search over Google, according to Google. If you're looking for more information on TikTok and Instagram's algorithms, we'll link a few resources from the later blog in the description box below. Lastly, let's talk about analytics and insights. Measuring and tracking your progress on social media is a key part of growing your business online. Instagram provides detailed analytics through Instagram Insights, helping you track your engagement, follower demographics, and post performance. 
We also recommend creating a business account to unlock more insights about your audience and their content preferences. TikTok also offers business accounts with similar analytics and insights that provide details like average user watch time, retention, and how many followers you've gained from specific videos. Because TikTok is primarily video focused, its insights are especially advanced for short form video content. So when you're deciding where to spend your efforts, remember, TikTok is great for boosting brand awareness, keeping on top of trends and reaching a younger audience. If your goals are centered more on traffic or reaching a wider age demographic, Instagram should take priority. That said, some TikTok content can perform well on Instagram Reels. So repurposing your content can be a useful way to stay consistent across both channels. If you want some tips on repurposing your content, we've linked a blog post below that'll help you squeeze the most out of your video content. We hope this breakdown has helped you get a little closer to an answer on which platform to choose for your business. There's a lot more we can cover here, so definitely let us know if there's anything else you'd like to learn in the comments below. See you later.